You know that moment when you see a beautifully designed website and you think to yourself that if you could somehow copy the entire design or let's say clone the UI to your own project. Well, me too. And how cool will it be if you could copy the URL of a website and drop it in a tool and with the press of a button, the tool goes ahead and clones the entire UI and then you can take it up from there. Well, it turns out there's actually a tool that lets you do it. Clone WebEx is an insanely powerful tool by Softlight that allows you to clone pretty much any website into your favorite builders like Webflow, Elementor, Bricks, Gutenberg and more. And no, you don't need any coding skills or technical knowledge. And the best part is that the cloned website is going to be fully responsive and you can also make edits on top of it to customize the way you want it to. So let's quickly get started. So this right here is clone WebEx and this is the tool that I've been talking about. So if you do want to clone any website, like just about any website, the first thing that you got to do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to this website and it is softlight.io slash clone WebEx. And as you can see, it says clone websites to your page builders in minutes with AI and the supported page builders are Webflow, Elementor, Bricks, Breakdance and Gutenberg. So basically, if you have a WordPress based website, you can simply press a button and copy an entire UI of any website and then add it to your WordPress website. And the process takes less than five minutes. And now let me walk you through it. So first thing first, go ahead and sign up for a new account. And now once you log in, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. And the first thing that you gotta do is to click on this button that says add new project. And in this case, I'll put rule. So basically this is the website. I mean, this right here is the website from which I'm planning to clone the UI. And as you can see, this is like a modern looking website with flat colors, nice animations, design, rounded corners, I mean, the UI looks pretty sleek, right? And now watch me clone this entire UI in just a couple of clicks. So first thing first, go ahead and copy the link or let's say the URL of the website from which you want to clone the design and log in to your clone WebEx account and create a new project, drop in the URL and just click on the create project button and that should be it. And the second step is installing the clone WebEx Chrome extension. So it says you have to use the Chrome web browser for optimal performance. And all you gotta do is to click on this button right here and it will take you to Chrome web store and go ahead and install this extension. So in my case, I have already installed the same. So if I click on this one, I can pin it. And as you can see, here we have the extension in action. And next up, it says go to your target web page and scroll down till the end of the target web page to make sure all the elements have loaded. All right, so this right here is the website and I'll go ahead and refresh it once. And now I'll scroll all the way to the end just, just to make sure that every content loads. All right, next up, all I gotta do is to click on this extension that is clone WebEx. And after that, I need to select the project so this right here is the newly created project that is rule so what i'll do is i'll select the same from here just like that and now i'll click on this button that says add page and now it is loading and it should get over in like a couple of seconds and there you have it so there you go the tool has just went ahead and cloned the entire ui of this page and now as you can see i mean as i highlight over different elements i can maybe select this one right here and copy this current selector i mean this selected element only for example let's say if you don't really want to let's say copy the entire page but only individual elements for example let's say this hero section right here i can select it like this or maybe let's say i want to copy this section right here i can copy it like this or maybe let's say this section right here i can copy that i mean if you want to copy only individual parts within a page you can do that but in this case i'll show you how to let's say copy the entire page and for that First of all, you need to select this export type option and set it to enter page. And next up, you need to select the page builder. So Clone WebEx actually supports a variety of different page builders, including Elementor, Gutenberg, Webflow, Bricks, and Breakdance. So depending on which page builder you are using, all you gotta do is to select the same. So in my case, I have both Elementor and Gutenberg. So first of all, I'll show you how we can set it up on Elementor. And then I'll also show you how we can do the same on Gutenberg as well. So I'll select the Elementor option. And next up, you need to download the Softlight integration plugin. So all you gotta do is to click this button right here and you can download the zip file. And next up, it says Flexbox container installation is mandatory. And also to paste the data, it says right click on the Elementor editor, choose paste from other side and press command or control V to paste the same, all right? And once you have the plugin, you can log into your WordPress dashboard. So there you go. And next up, I'll head over to the plugin section and click on add plugin. And next up, click on this option that says upload plugin. And now I'll drag and drop the zip file that we just downloaded and click on this install now button. I have already installed the same. So, okay, let's just wait anyways. 
and I'll maybe click on this option that says replace current with uploaded. So basically all you gotta do is to install the plugin. And right now the plugin is installed and is also activated. And next up I'll maybe just as to show you I'll open the add page option. Here I'll click on this edit with Elementor option right here and wait for it to load. So this right here is the Elementor editor. Next up I'll head back to Softlight and click on this export button to copy the same. So in your case, if you're using, let's say Gutenberg, you can select it from here and simply press the copy button. So it says copy to clipboard. And now I'll head back to my WordPress website and I'll maybe add a container layout in here. And now all I gotta do is to right click and click on this option that says paste from other site. And now a pop-up appears asking you to paste the element. So I'll simply press command V and it's loading. So let's wait, wait for the magic. So there you go, everything is already added in here and you can find a preview and maybe I'll go ahead and click on this option to preview the changes. So there you go, here we have the exact same UI replicated, cloned and loaded into our website. And for reference, this right here is the uh, actual UI of the website from which we cloned the design and this right here is the output. How amazing, right? All these icons, I mean, the fonts, the background, the containers, the footer, the block section, everything is exactly the same i just went ahead and dropped in a link press the button and here you already have this cloned version live on your wordpress website and now if i want to let's say publish it i can simply hit on publish and click on publish and i can view the page there you go it's in action it is as easy as that and next up if you want to do the exact same thing for a gutenberg based website all you gotta do is to select this drop down menu and select the gutenberg option and now we have already installed the plugin and everything else. I'll click on this export button and wait for it to copy. It says copy to clipboard. Now I'll head back, click on add new page. And this writer is the Gutenberg editor. And now all I gotta do is to paste the same in here and wait for a few seconds. Simply press command V. So there you go. It is now added in here. And now I'll open a preview. So there you go. It is as easy as that. And next up, maybe I'll also show you how you can set it up for a different website. So here I have opened up the Netlify.com website. So this right here is the website. So what I'll do is, I mean, I have already created a project for this one. So I'll head back and as you can see, it says web hosting clone and I'll click on this Chrome extension and select the project and click on add page. All right. So let's wait. It says loading experience and there you have it. The UI is already cloned. And now I'll select, let's say Gutenberg. And in your case, if you want to, you can obviously select Elementor as well. Okay. All of that looks good. I'll click on export. Oh, actually I have to set it as entire page, click export. So it says copy to clipboard. I'll head back to my WordPress website. I'll let's say create a new page and I'll paste the same in here. So there you go. Maybe I'll adjust and choose the template as Elementor Canvas. And now I'll put it in the preview mode. So there you go. Here we have just went ahead and cloned the entire Netlify website. And for reference, this right here is the original one. And this right here is the cloned version. How easy, right? And now the thing is, let's say you don't really want to clone the entire page. Obviously, in many cases, it does not really make any sense to clone the entire page. And now let's say I only want to clone this particular section right here. Well, you got options for that too. So in such cases, all you got to do is to click on this extension, clone WebEx. I'll select the project, click on add page and wait for it to load. And after it has been loaded, I can scroll all the way down and use my mouse to select only the part or let's say the uh, particular element that I want to clone. So in this case, this one right here. So yeah, this much part right here. And now I'll select the selector and now the same is added in here. Okay. And now I'll select the page builder as Gutenberg and I'll click on export and let's wait. So that's done. So I can head back and maybe delete this one from here and I'll simply paste the same in here. And there you go. We have pasted the same. And next up, let's just say you want to copy an element from some other website. So in this case, let's say I want to copy, let's say, okay, this part right here. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and click on the extension, select the website, click on add page. Let's wait for it. I can scroll all the way down 
and now select the elements okay this looks good i'll select that and now set it as gutenberg and now click on export and let's wait it says copy to clipboard and i'll head back and i can paste the newly copied element in here and there you go so this way you can copy individual elements from different let's say multiple websites and assemble everything together and make changes so in this case if you want to let's say edit the text you can do that so in this case whatever changes that i make everything is instantly reflected and now i can make changes and take it up that way so this is basically how simple it is to clone any website in just a matter of couple of clicks so all you gotta do is to head over to clone webex sign up for a new account and install their chrome extension and also the plugin on your wordpress website and after that you can pretty much go ahead and visit any website of choice create a project press the extension add the page and once done you can copy the entire page or individual elements within a page and add the same to your website so in this case we have already added that Maybe I can go ahead and preview it. So there you go. This is how simple it is. So whatever be that website that you want to clone, clone Webex got you covered. So first thing first, head over to the link in the description below. Go visit clone Webex and use it for yourself and see how well it actually clones pretty much any website. And now that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.